In my job, everyone always has three things they bring up. So right now it's it's Dwight Howard, it's how good of a season we are, and change the uniform. <laughs> Given sports is inherently unpredictable, I'm intrigued how Daryl Morey, GM of the Houston Rockets, is inspired by data and analytics to ensure that he develops the winning formula that balances the art and science of basketball. How were you able to determine that the data that you could interpret for baseball applied to basketball? We knew that data would help you make better decisions. I mean, humans are very good at certain things. They're good at recognizing patterns, but what they're not good at is taking very large sets of data and helping you make decisions. You know, Red Sox, obviously the movie Moneyball, Tampa Bay Rays, all these teams have shown that it helps you win championships. Players like Shane Battier, traditionally when measured by the numbers that you can get in the paper, he looked terrible. But he was such a good teammate, doing a lot of, you know, making that right pass, uh, defending very intelligently. A lot of stuff that wouldn't show up in traditional ways. Yeah. And it turned out our data would find guys like him as really valuable, but you don't always know why. And this is why a lot of decision makers across all industries don't want to use data. Yeah. Because if you've risen up in the ranks to be the lead dog, the lead decision maker, and you feel like you've risen to the ranks for a good reason, you've done successful things, you've made good decisions, now for that person who's not used to using data, then get to the top and say, now there's this guy down here saying like, ah, you should look at data. I wanna make this decision. No, but the data doesn't support it. <laughs> so it's actually disempowering for these leaders to now use data because the data becomes like almost more powerful than them.